I am your favorite watch YouTubers, favorite watch YouTuber. Mm. Cheers, it's your host Richard Prophet, <laughs> Apex Predator, Last Dragon. <laughs> I'm at my la uh, Lake Mayaka Park with with my buddy Jin, and we're just like, look at the beautifulness, beautifulness of the the lake, the birds, the sun, and the sky. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> this doesn't feel like a cheap little flimsy pen. This actually has a good weight to it. You see. This you see that? Can you see it? Uh, yeah, this is, this is, uh, look, it's never even been clicked before. I'm gonna click it with the family here. Wow, look at that operation. Flawless, flawless. Um, yeah, so I really, really wanted one of these. Oh, wow. Who's the ink from? Ooh. Okay. This has never been written on, never been, never been handled. I just took off the cover, saw it, and was like, oof. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you know... This was really only when I had heard about this and I saw it on TV. This was really the, the, the only Rolex VIP swag that I wanted. I just wanted the pen to say, yeah, okay. Now Rolex knows me. You know what I mean? I mean, I know, you know, uh, they've never heard of the dragon, right? But I, I mean, hey, you know, the ADs watch my videos. I know they do. A lot of ADs have told me they watch my videos, but, you know, I mean, Rolex, um, you know, it, it, I, I mean, to me, it just feels like, you know what, I, I, I made it, I'm there, you know, or, you know, my collecting dreams, aspirations of, of getting that first landlord watch, seeing that first landlord watch for the very first time, uh, and then getting blessed with this, getting bestowed this, not trying to chase it down, trying to buy something from somebody or getting ripped off on the internet, getting a bogus one, actually getting given this uh, by my Rolex AD, man. Um, yeah, it it it, uh, it 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 kind of brought my whole uh, my whole deal, my whole deal with Rolex, man. Uh, from that very first time I saw the Rolex, um, by getting this, and I and I and I just got this recently. Uh, to be very honest. Um, Getting this, man, uh, kind of, for me, for me anyway, I mean, it may not mean anything to anybody else, but to me, it kind of brought my whole Rolex journey full circle. It brought me full circle, man. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of brought me full circle. I mean, if you if you're part of the OTI family here uh, on the channel, you know uh, the state of my collection, and you know where I'm at with it, and you know, uh, you know all the steel watches we collected, all you know the two tones and the precious metal pieces. Uh, you know the state of my collection now, and and how I would be collecting 
going forward. So, yeah. Yeah, so this this Rolex official VIP swag gift blessing whatever you dub it um has has it, it, it's kind of it's kind of full circle man it's brought my collection full circle I mean where else is there for me to go you know where else is there for me to go I mean I have I you know it's gonna be it's gonna be an unboxing it's gonna be an unboxing well a couple a couple new unboxings real soon and uh uh yeah a couple new unboxings soon and 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 uh and uh after that you know there's no place else for me to go with it where else am i gonna go You know, I started from the, you know, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm your favorite Rolex watch collector's favorite Rolex watch collector, you know, uh, admit it or not, you know, whose collection is like mine, you know what I mean? Like every modern piece, every modern steel piece in the last few years, who was the first with it? Precious metal all day, you know, and and now these latest, you know, I mean, where else, where else am I gonna go in, in, you know, in the Rolex realm? I mean, unless I start going outside of Rolex, but I'm not, you know, I, you know, I'm the last dragon, I, you know, I'm a Rolex man, and that's it. Uh, and unless I got into the vintage space, but that's not, that's not. That's not really my thing. That's not how I was introduced to Rolex Vintage. I was introduced uh, with that first Landlord watch, man. And, and uh, yeah, so. Yeah, and this came, like, right on time because, you know, this has been... Uh, my collection is now full circle. It's full circle. You know, it is full circle. And this is a great topper to my collection. I know Tiger's got one. I know Rogers got one. And I know the super collectors. I know you guys got one too. But now the dragon has got one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rolex. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to my buddy, man. My buddy, the AD. You know who you are. I know I know you like to stay behind the scenes, but thank you. Thank you, man. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, you know, we're finally here. It's been a lot of struggles, man. It's been ups and downs. I've been poor and I've been rich. I've been poor again. <laughs> and, and you know, and then I, you know, uh, things changed again. So, for the better, for the greater. Um, so now, yeah, man, now I really appreciate the things I have in my life and where we've come with it. So, when I look at this, it, I don't just see a pen, I just see a green pen. I don't just see a piece of Rolex swag or a gift that Rolex gives to his VIPs. I see I see a full circle, man, a collection that started started at the very at the very beginning. And now, you know, I I'm you know, I'm at the apex, man. Uh you know, I'm not a guy that posts internet pictures on his videos because he has one, two, three watches. You know what I'm saying? I'm a guy that if I spoke about that watch, I'm wearing it. That's uh, that's the type of Rolex collector I am. 
the Rolex lover, actually, because I love for Rolex. I, you know, I love Rolex. Sure, other watches are great, you know, so they say. I wouldn't know because I don't have them. But, uh, yeah, man, this is my favorite. If you could tell, um... Cheers, family.